Hi, this is Andrew Yankuski from intomusic.ca. We're a leading professional audio production training facility. Today I'm going to show you some quick ways to get around inside Logic using various different shortcuts and tools within the program so you can speed up your workflow and increase your power within the program. My first tip concerns how to use Logic's many different tools. Logic has many useful tools, but switching between them can be really time consuming. So I'm going to show you some quick ways that you can move between different tools and cut down on the amount of time that you spend mousing around trying to select the tool that you need. There's two types of tools that you can use in Logic. Uh, they're assigned to your left click of your mouse, so that's known as the left click tool, and that's located up here. If we click on this menu, we can assign our left click tool. The next tool is called your command click tool, because when you hold down the command key, your, your mouse cursor will change to that tool. So for example, my left click tool is currently my pointer. When I hold down the command key and I go over a piece of audio, it changes to the scissors tool, which is my command click tool. Now, we can reassign the command click tool by clicking on the menu that's just to the right of the left click tool and choosing from the same number of tools. So this allows you to quickly switch between two active tools. But it's a bit of a pain to be constantly going up to the upper right hand corner of the screen and selecting one tool or another. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can switch your left click tool. Simply hit escape on the keyboard and you get your menu of tools. So for example if I want to switch from the pointer tool to my eraser tool I can switch and so now that tool has been assigned. Similarly I can also very quickly return to my pointer by simply double tapping on escape. So we tap escape twice and we're right back to the pointer. So just one more time, if we hit escape once anywhere on the screen, we can access our tool menu. In this example, I'm going to change from my pointer tool to my eraser tool. And then when I want to switch back to my pointer at any point, I simply double tap escape on my keyboard and I'm right back to the pointer. Now similarly, you can also assign your command click tool this way. Uh, simply hit the escape button just as you would when you're assigning your left click tool. But this time, when you go to select your tool, simply hold down the command key. So I'm holding down command. For those of you that don't know, the command key is often called the Apple key. Um, it's the key on your keyboard that has the Apple symbol on it, but it's technically known as the command key. So we now we choose, while holding down the command key, we choose another tool. So let's use the eraser as in my other example. And now we can see when we look up in the upper right hand corner of the screen, we have our pointer assigned to our left click tool and we have our eraser now for our command click tool. So that means anytime we're on the screen and we press, press the command key, we're going to get the eraser coming up as an alternate tool. The next thing I want to show you is how to zoom around quickly within the software. There's many different ways that you're going to need to zoom horizontally and vertically, and there's a few quick shortcuts that you can use to easily get around within the program. The first one is how do you expand an individual track to be larger vertically? And that's done very easily. Simply place your cursor over the track when you get to the lower left hand corner of the track you'll notice that two things happen. First of all, your cursor changes to a hand symbol which shows you can drag and move the track to another location like this, which is rearranging your tracks. What we want to do here is we actually want to resize. If we go all the way down to the left hand corner of the screen on the track, we see that your hand turns into a little pointing finger and now we can click and drag to increase the size of that particular track. Now what if you'd like to increase or decrease the size of all of the tracks vertically? It's very simple. You simply go to the same location on the track, hold down the command key, and all of the tracks will resize vertically, just like an individual track. So once again, that's just going to the lower left-hand corner and then clicking and dragging the track once your mouse cursor has turned into a pointing finger, or if you want to resize all of the tracks, holding down the command key and doing the exact same thing. Very quick way to resize in your project, which is something you often need to do. Now similarly, you often need to quickly horizontally zoom in on a waveform to perform an edit. And so I'm going to show you here how to do that really quickly. First we'll resize just one of our tracks a little larger. For example, what if we'd like to, resize, or to zoom in horizontally on this portion of the audio? We simply click on the timeline and then drag straight up or down vertically to zoom in or out. So if we drag straight down, we'll do a quick zoom, which allows us to zoom in really quickly on the waveform. We can notice that our cursor has changed to a magnifier. And if we continue clicking and dragging and pushing straight up, then we will basically horizontally zoom out. So that's called a quick zoom, and we can go anywhere on the timeline and click and drag right down to zoom in, or drag straight up to zoom out. Very quick way to make a horizontal zoom within the program. It's an extremely useful way to get around when you're making edits.
Now another thing that we're going to look at is how to use the Z key to quickly zoom out to the whole project. So when we have un when we deselect all of the audio and we tap Z on the keyboard, that zooms us out so that we can see all of the audio that's in our project. If we want to zoom in on a particular region of audio, we simply select that region, tap the Z key, and we notice that logic will zoom right in. When we're done our editing on this piece of audio on this region, we simply simply tap Z again and we jump right back out to our main zoom view. So by using the Z key, either with all of the audio deselected, we can zoom out and see the entire, all of the audio regions on our project, or if we want to zoom in on a particular audio region, say this one here, we can simply tap Z and jump in and look at that audio in detail. When we're done, we tap Z again, and we're zoomed out. So another really quick, useful shortcut for zooming around your project. Now the final thing I want to show you is a couple little quick uh, shortcuts that we can use when we're selecting background menu items, which often takes quite a bit of navigating in Logic. For example, it's common to want to change things like metronome settings or record settings within the program, and that typically means that you have to go up to a drop-down menu, so you may have to go up to one of your drop-down menus, File, Edit, or Options. You may alternately go to Settings or Preferences, and that involves going through quite a few levels of menus before you can make a change. But there's a very quick way to access a lot of those same menu items. For example, down at the bottom of our screen on the transport, we may want to adjust our metronome settings. There's a metronome button here on the actual transport. If we click and hold on that, we'll see that there will be a pop-up menu that will come up, and that includes a few different options like click while recording or click while playing, customize transport bar, or the options we want in this example, which is to change our metronome settings. Once we select that, we get directly in to the metronome settings dialog, saving us a bunch of steps in getting there. We'll close this one out. Another place you might commonly want to go would be to change your record settings. Your record button on your transport is right here. If we click and hold, we'll get a pop-up menu. This allows us to change some different recording settings, including some punching in settings. But in this example, we'll basically go ahead and change our recording settings directly. So we just choose recording settings and boom, we're right into the recording menu where we can make all of our detailed setting changes without having to access the menus through our regular drop-down menus or through the top of the screen. So I hope you enjoyed those tips for quickly navigating through Logic, and I'm confident you'll find them to be useful when you're working on your next project. If you'd like to expand your audio production skills further, you can visit our website at intomusic.ca where you'll find a range of courses for beginners, intermediate, and advanced producers. Register online and expand your skills even further than you can with these tutorials. You can also find out more about us by visiting us at facebook.com slash intomusic.ca, and you can follow me on Twitter at Andrew Yankusky. Thanks again for tuning in, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we'll be releasing weekly tutorials in Logic and a variety of other software platforms.